This is Robert Irvine's protein bar, 190 calories, 16 grams of protein in this Fit Crunch bar. So hyped, so popular, really good, but tiny. I can eat it in one bite. This entire cake is the exact same amount of calories and protein. 190 calories, 16 grams of protein, all 16 pieces, soft, airy, spongy, delicious. So instead of eating protein bars, eat a giant cake. I would have never thought that gelatin was so popular, but so many of you guys have been asking me for gelatin recipes. I never expected it, but I got you guys because what you asked for, I deliver. Today, we're gonna use two packets of gelatin to make a cake that is so low in calories and so high in protein, it is comparable to Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch protein bars. I might not look like Robert Irvine, but let's make it. It's only two ingredients, it's insane. First, you're gonna need three quarters cup of applesauce. I'm not a baby and applesauce is baby food, but this cake is not because it has way too much protein to give to a baby. Three fourths cup of this or 360 grams goes into a bowl. Applesauce is honestly baby food, but it's gonna work in this cake, okay? And once you have your baby food in a bowl, take both packets of gelatin. Each one of these is seven grams of gelatin, so 14 grams total. Unflavored, sprinkle the gelatin right on the applesauce. That did not open. I feel like it's gonna explode. Grab your whisk, mix the gelatin into the applesauce and the gelatin should be completely dissolved in the applesauce. Next, you put the bowl down and you let it sit for 10 minutes. Just don't do anything, just watch it. You can't go anywhere, just stand here and watch the bowl. Wait 10 minutes and I'll be back. You thought the video was frozen, it's not. While you're waiting 10 minutes, you could get some whisking sticks out. I would never make this recipe for the life of me if I didn't have an electric whisker. You can use a mixing stand if you want to, but I don't have a giant contraption. These things are like 10 bucks. Just get yourself something that will beat for you so you don't have to use your hands. Optionally, if you want something more yellow and vibrant because my applesauce is looking a little bit dull, get some food coloring. I'm gonna use yellow food coloring today because apples are yellow, except this one's a little brown. And if you like vanilla, then get some vanilla extract. Completely optional, you don't have to use it. It doesn't count as an ingredient because it's not forced. And if you like things sweeter, use some erythritol or any sweetener you want. I'm using erythritol because it's plant-based sugar and clearly we're only making things with plants today, except for the gelatin. So one of the two ingredients is not from a plant, but the other one is. So it's half vegan. And if you round up, it's vegan. So we're making a vegan cake today. Now is also a really great time to get yourself an eight by eight or nine by nine or any dish that you want to put this cake in and put plastic wrap all over it. You don't need to use parchment. Plastic wrap will work fine because this cake is not gonna be baked. It's gonna be a fridge cake. Okay, we are back. It has been 10 minutes and look at the applesauce. It's thicker, see? You see how it just falls like that as clumps? It's thick. Now we want to melt this in the microwave because that's the easiest way. We want to get the gelatin watery again because it's thickened up and it's at room temperature right now. So this is important. 30 second intervals. Do not just put this in your microwave for a minute and a half. It might burn. Don't do it, please. Just 30 second intervals, okay? You'll know when it's done. I will show you exactly what it looks like. Oh, by the way, don't make this in a metal bowl. Make it in a glass bowl because it's going in the microwave. Forgot to mention that, but hopefully you didn't start making it already. 30 seconds on 100% power. Just stand here and wait. Five, four, three, two, one. One. You can see the applesauce is not liquid yet, but it's softer. See how much easier it falls off the spoon? That's because the gelatin is slowly melting as it gets heated up, but we're not ready yet. 30 more seconds. Do you guys like applesauce by the way? Let me know in the comments down below. 
I never used to eat it as a kid. There we go. Look how much softer that is. It just slides off of the spoon. Thirty more seconds. So far, we have microwaved this for one minute thirty seconds, but we've done it in thirty-second intervals because we don't want the applesauce to just burn. We don't want this boiling. We just want this heated up so the gelatin melts. And that is it. We microwave this for 30 second intervals three times. So that's a minute and a half. The applesauce is hot. Well, not hot. It's kind of warm. The gelatin is dissolved. It's less thicker. It's liquidy. Now comes the hard part. Not hard, but just time consuming. 15 minutes of beating. This is why I would never make this recipe without this thing. So 15 minutes on high. Just there's nothing else to be said. It is crazy what just happened, like 15 minutes and it turned from gelatin applesauce to like a foam, a thick apple foam. The consistency. It's literally just foam right now. It's cream, apple whipped cream. Give it a taste and see the sweetness level. Mine tastes pretty sweet, so I don't think I even want to add any sweetener, but I'm gonna cause I like sweet stuff. I'm gonna just add a tablespoon of erythritol just to get it a little tiny bit sweeter. A pinch of vanilla extract and a little bit of food coloring because I have a video to make and I have to take a picture for the thumbnail. So one last quick whip for two more minutes. You basically beat until that happens. You can pour it and it just ribbons. Apple foam. You could give it one quick last taste just to see if you want a little bit of extra sweetness. Perfect for me. And anyway, I like to eat this with a little bit of whipped cream on top anyway, and that's gonna add a little bit more sweetness. Or I like to put some sweetened Greek yogurt on this. Amazing. Take your pan coated with plastic wrap and the applesauce mixture goes in. Grab some more plastic wrap and put it on the top. You got the cake. Just give it a few taps like this. Get it flat. Take this, put it in the fridge for at least an hour. The longer the better, but at least an hour. And I will see you later. It is time to check on the apple cake. It is cold. It has set. Can you hear that? That is a cake that is firm. Robert, why are you playing with me? 190 calories and a snack size protein bar and 16 grams of protein. This whole cake has that. Each piece is one gram of protein because there are 16 pieces and less than 20 calories. It just melts in your mouth. It's like 
soft, spongy air. That apple flavor comes through with that little bit of sweetness and that vanilla. It reminds me of like a marshmallow cake. I don't know what it reminds me of. There's some snack I used to eat as a kid that was super fluffy and just, I can't remember what it is. So if you know what it is, let me know down below. But this is like really, 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 really moist cold cake. Let me know what recipes you wanna see next because I literally make what you guys ask for. You guys ask for a gelatin recipe. This is what I got. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next video.